Hello and welcome back to part two of uh, Astro Boy. We're uh, on an island with a crater and there's a very cool looking wolf up ahead. There's a lion, I do apologize, in the middle of the jungle? But no, it's actually, oh, is, it, is that my sister? What, it transformed into a robot? Hey, it's Astro. It's me, Pook. What, Pook? I don't think we've met before. Hmm, I've been sleeping for a long time. My memories are a bit fuzzy. Uh oh, here comes those weirdos. I've got to go. See you, Astro. Weirdos? What is that? Look, weirdos. What's this? A rabbit, a duck, and a horse riding in a big tyre. We've got you now. <laughs> so, this game went very much from like Mega Man to. What? Using the white lion to steal money and jewellery? What? What are you talking about? I've done nothing of the sort. You can't fool us. We're Boko, Pucko and Noko. Warriors of Justice. The Amazing Free. Very close to the Warriors Free there, wasn't it? Not quite, but, but close. Say your prayers. Gotta remember, my beam attack is not as useful as it was in the flying level. It's still very powerful though, as evidenced by two hits killing him. I told you I had nothing to do with whatever it was that you are talking about. Yeah, it looks that way, but what are you doing in a place like this? Well, no more time for chit chat. After that lion, off we go. Come on Pucko and Noko. Oh, yep, the amazing three, they've joined me. Apparently we're friends now. Um, so I'm torn. I could go life. I'm very tempted to go laser again. And sensor is always back. You know what? Let's go laser. Hmm. What was that anyway? I better get back to my investigation. Boy, sure is dark in there. It's just like being blind in a maze. I might be able to see if I powered up my hyper sensors. I should probably just head right for now. Yep, knew I should have powered them up. I'm, I'm pretty sure it just gives you someone now to power up those a little. Yeah, you fucked up, but maybe not. Hey you, who are you and what are you doing here? Oh shit, it's the Red Ribbon Army. There's, an, there's another strange one. And who are you? I ask you first. You must work for... Kins, Kinsankaku. I... Big X won't let you get away. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, now boost number three. Hmm, I seem to have lost my ability to laser effectively. Let's give it one of these. So, it's not the hardest fight yet, is it? But I'm pretty sure he boosts again. I like how his technique is yet to work, but he doesn't give up at all. That's why he's a hero. Alright. Oh, shit. You're tough. Time for boost number five. I wonder what, what boost one, two, and three were. That's, that's the question, isn't it? How short does he start? Wow, that is a hefty reach. I was not expecting that kind of reach. He should hit me here, but ah, good, I, I kind of blocked it. Oh shit, he's going to power up again, isn't he? Oh no, he's gone back down to my size. I told you, I've got nothing to do with it. Look, he's beat to shit. Yeah, I guess it looks that way. Sorry about that. I came to this island to track down a villain named Kinsankaku. He's buying up V3 robots, vicious machines from from the evil country, Carthage. That's that's an odd name. If you find any clues, please let me know. Okay, good luck. Yeah. I think this is like the only time it kind of tells you to upgrade something specific. You still don't have to, but you really should. And you can do it before that as well and just go the other way and not fight him. I've done it in the past. 
I can finally see with my hyper sensors now. Now I can check every corner. Yep, just jump down there. Fucking bat bots. I think what these do is they land and they turn into small turrets. Specifically, you, you can't you can't like kill them. Oh look, until they're until they're not hanging, huh? Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm Sherlock Homespun, a detective from Britain. Take note how he's 60s Britain-ish. I'm known, I'm also known as Rainbow Parakeet. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't share any information about my, my client. I hate robots, but I don't want you to think that I'm rude, so I'll tell you a secret. A hidden door exists below the ruins, but no one knows how to unlock it. Okay, thank you. Good luck with your job. Rainbow Parakeet, aka Sherlock Homespun. Are we going to question any of that nonsense that just occurred? Probably not. Uh, ah, it's tricky, isn't it? See, so shot's kind of the worst one because it's just that power up, and it's not that useful the power up. And equally so, punch when you could be lasering. Might go. Might yeah, I might go jets actually. See, look, three jets in a row. Isn't that good? The reason you don't really want to upgrade punch, because as you've noticed, punches stun lock them anyway. So if you're if you're in punching range, they're pretty dead. Whatever happens. All right, who's this Burke? Oh man, what do I do now? Hmm, there's someone over there. Are you a detective too? Why yes, I'm Wally Kisagari, a private detective from Japan. I travelled all the way to Cruciform Island, aka Point X, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, to investigate Kinsenkaku's secret base. He stole the artificial sun created for the settlement of Pluto from the Science Ministry. Artificial sun? So that's what that was. The statue is the key to entering the base, but it's too heavy to move. Hey, do you think you can move it? Sure, I'll give it a shot. More importantly, we've just got another another power up. Let's go sensors. It's always good to be ahead of the game on sensors. A base on nothing. I could break that now, but I, I feel like I want to explore around it. Alright, uh, water does damage you. Alright, so there's, no, there's actually nothing to explore here. Just break it. Laser! Yeah. I can take it from here. Thanks for your help. Okay. Well, actually, I, I, I thought I might get a bit more involved in that. Ah. Was there another path, though? I feel like there were two drop downs. Maybe not. I'm, st I'm starting to remember how to move around a bit more, a bit more properly, a bit more correctly. I'm getting the hang of the controls. And we're immediately back in a robot zone. <gasps> this must be V3. Here I come. This isn't a boss. It's just a, it's just an enemy. I don't think he can get to me. I don't know why I thought that. I'm saying this isn't a boss. He's quite tough. I feel like I wasted that, e even though it comes back fairly quickly. Let's have a look up. No. Sometimes the maps. Oh fuck me. That's a bit unfair. They do, they look a bit like rock and sock and robots to me. Not sure where I get that from. Probably didn't need to use two. Seems like one big and one one small laser will do the trick. I'm thinking life next as well, given that they do about half damage with one hit. Alright, yep, yeah, forgot about that. Nailed it. I think a good amount of the gameplay is you just you just wanna the the, the goal is to use your specials. Any any time you haven't got a special to use that then then is when you uh, resort to non special attacks. Bit of slow down there. I got to use shot. I knew I'd regret saying it sucked. 
See, I, I nearly died just then, but but fortunately, because I've got so many jets, I, I was able to save myself through sheer dumb luck. Oh, thank fucker. Little fuckers. Yeah, see, part, part, of the, part of the trick there, these ones can't be stun locked. Shit. I didn't realise how far they could jump. It's obscene. I've got to do this again. I didn't like this. I think it's because I had a dangerous floor. Catch him. Good. Right. This should take out maybe two of them. Who are you? I'm Ambassador Magma, the Rocket Man and Peacekeeper of the Earth. What's a Rocket Man? I'd, I'd love... I'd love to, in an ideal situation, if this this single video had a much, much larger budget, it would cut to me personally doing a shot-for-shot -shot recreation of Elton John's Rocket Man, or William Shatner's Rocket Man, 50-50. But it doesn't have that kind of budget, so we're not going to do that. Um, but if it did, imagine how funny that would be right now. Not very. Uh, something that's levels beyond today's technology, you wouldn't understand. I'm following my orders given by Master Arf, the guardian of the earth. I'm searching for the devil, who's supposed to be lying dormant nearby here. But it looks like he's nowhere to be found. The devil? Please call on me if you discover any clues. Many people don't believe in such mythical f figures, but they exist. Should you ever see him, blow this whistle three times and I shall be there. Three times, right, I understand, good luck. That right there <laughs> is what I'm talking about. At some point you will just fight the devil. Having met him first makes it easier. But what's very odd is I don't even know how I met him. I just accidentally shot something that released him. Uh, let's go with life. I said I should do life. And, and I, I stick to it. But now you're all lined up perfectly. Except for that one that stabbed me in the head. But other than that, they're all lined up perfectly. Ah, damn it. If this game just had more buttons, it would be so much better. Like a button for laser, a button for jump, a button for punch, and maybe even a button for kick, to be honest. I very nearly ran straight for it again. There we go. You want to get them together. That's the key. I say, based on not having beaten these yet at all. That one's got to be near death as well. Yeah. Didn't even take a, a single hit from them. Uh, although I think I might have actually. What a huge hole. My ex-wife, ladies and gentlemen. This crater can't just be a natural phenomenon. This hole was probably made by melting the ground with the artificial sun. But why would anyone want to die such a huge dig such a huge hole. <laughs> see what you want to see? Wait a minute, I think I hear suspicious voices down there. I'll amplify my hearing by 1000 to hear what's going on. 1000, so they were at most like 100 meters away, meaning that Astro's normal hearing allows him to hear normal speaking voices at a distance of one one thousandth of a hundred meters or this far this far in fact he's not got great hearing or <laughs> he turned he cranked up to a thousand and he was immediately deafened by the by the sheer force of the sound i'm tired of stealing money and jewelry mr skunk yeah she have you forgotten who dug you out of that deep dark abyss already she enough skunk. Pook has more important things to do. You ain't still talking about that, are ya? I'm bored of these voices. All we found is this little kid from all the digging. All that digging. The artificial sun we stole will help us find the hidden treasure of Mew. You're a genius for coming up with that clever idea to excavate the ruins. Well, I don't have the time to search for treasure just using a shovel and brush. The heat of the artificial sun should help. 
How big can this treasure be that they stole an artificial sun to to dig for it? If what, they could have just got some slaves, robots, prisoners with jobs, and the legend. Who is it? Shit, they've seen me, or maybe I just chose to jump in. All right, dickheads. You guys must be the Kinsan Kaku. This party is over. What? Get him, Pook. What? I'll free you if you beat him. I saved you. Now it's your turn to save me. Sorry, Astro. Transform to lion mode. Because you can't beat on a child. Sorry. Kuntol Force. Which is a cool bird, actually. Ah, shit. It's oh, no. Stayed, stayed in my range. Little bastard. Bahamut Force. I've just suddenly remembered I hate this one. Like this specific form for some reason. No idea why. Maybe it's because it's so hard to hit. I mean, it's not really hitting me. Actually, no, I specifically remember this fin and hating this fin. Why did I do that? It was a horrible waste. Will this work? Kind of. Hanuman Force. Which I feel like is an odd spelling of human. Or that's just a creature I'm not familiar with. I've just noticed how much damage I've done. Sod all. Remember that early boss fight, the spider thing that died in like two shots? Leo Force. Shit. Thank god I spent all that on lives, so I can actually take some hits. Ah, fuck. One of the mistakes I make is that I, I should just be double tapping instead of jumping first. To, to jet away. Fuck you right in the ass. Always transforms at like the worst time. Uh, the, the bird's bullshit. Shit, the bird's not bullshit anymore. The bird stopped being bullshit. He's become relevant. God, I had some natural ammo there. Wasn't sure I did. Good. The, li the lion's the one I, I seem to have the, the easiest time with. Maybe it's because I myself am the king of pixel spank. Immediately I get hit. Aerial supremacy. It's so good having multiple flies like that. You just It's a huge benefit. That's what I like about this game. You, you definitely get stronger. It's got one more health left. And this should kill it. Yes. Oh god, I've killed a child. What have I done? Note in the background is the broken sun that I broke. The artificial sun. That's what it's called. That's its name. Astro. Will you, will you save Mew? Pook, don't give up. That's it. You're going to pay for this. Uh, I think we're in serious trouble. He's all yours, skunk. I gotta go. Where do you think you're going? B -b Big X, where did you come from? The Amazing Free is here to punish these crooks too. It's all over now. You have no way out now. The island's surrounded. How did all these superheroes gather here all at once? Did I cause it? Possibly. And we've met Pook as well. Um, I think I might go... See, jets are useful, but I think I'm going to go life. Life keeps you alive. Stage 3, Astro versus Atlas. Well, the Kinsen Kaku have finally been captured thanks to Astro. And happily, the mysterious robot Pook has been repaired by Dr. O'Shea. And now, Astro's been asked to go to the moon. 
Yep, the moon. You know, that satellite orbiting the Earth. It all started when... They don't mess around in this story, do they? They fucking move in episodes. We're almost at the moon, Astro. Pook sure is a mystery. He was already repairing himself before I even laid a hand on him. Pook is a man. I did not know that. He must have the... He must... He must be have the ability to repair himself. His advanced super molecular structure must use nanotechnology. This technology is light years ahead of our own. Once he's all better, he may be able to tell us about it. He said something earlier about saving Mew. Mew? That civilization fell into the ocean 30,000 years ago. Interesting. But we have more pressing matters to attend to. Will he explain the situation to Mr. Tokugawa? Of course. Two days... What? <laughs> oh, he, he meant will you, Mr. Tokugawa, explain the information to Astro. Two days ago, there was a hostile takeover of my moon plant. We don't have much staff since the site is still under construction. But whoever did it, they took my son, Daichi, who's a director, as a hostage. They want Astro from the Science Ministry in exchange for my son. Daichi is my only son. I just don't know what to do. What would, you, what would they do want from me? I don't know why, but we must make sure make every effort to rescue Daichi. Good luck, Astro. Is that code for we're, we're swapping hostages? You're their hostage now, Astro. In fact, it's not even code. This is my son, Daichi. And this is a blueprint of the plant. Oh, yeah, okay. So look at it, I go, I go, I go in at the bottom left, I go right, I go up, I go right, I go down, I go right, I go up, I go left, I go up, I go right, I go down, I go right, I go up. Got it, right. They said to meet them at the Grand Observatory in the upper right. Makes sense. But you must be careful as you make your way up there. The plant's still under construction, so there are many unsafe areas. I'm a robot. This artificial gravity device is broken. It'll be tough to fix. That's code for you. When you jump, you go fucking flying. Fuck. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. I only did it because I was about to be attacked. I mean, it was a panic push. This, uh, this artificial gravity is very confusing. It increases my jump speed massively, but it doesn't seem to have any effect on my jet speed. There's something up here. I think if you go, if you go up here and shoot this panel out here, yeah. Hey, boy, you look almost identical to me. I'm Mars, Jetta Mars. I'm a new type of robot. Doctors Kawagi and Yamanui have been developing. I'm just a prototype, but the production model should be ready by the year 2015. Two years ago. Wow, I can't wait. I don't know when this was written exactly, but I want to say like the 50s, early Astro Boy. Uh, but we got power up, which is good. Let's go with jet uh, lasers, even, shall we? See how good my memory is that I can, I can just, I can track those sort of things. No, knowledge that that was there. Ah, fucker. All right, wait for it. Ah, that was, that was almost perfectly timed, wasn't it? Just to catch them all. I didn't mean to do that. And I got hit anyway. Alright, this is, this is the bit where I have to go up. I don't know that I even have to kill them, to be honest. Oh no, I definitely do. I'll let them come to me. To a certain extent. You dickheads. It's um, it's it's a unique game, isn't it? This one. It's. I might say it's one of the best beat 'em ups there is. Um, in fact, I will. It's just really good. 
I think it's because they, they give you a lot of power. It's not so much that there's a lot going on in the story, but it, it fucking, it moves, you know? I don't think there's any more hidden panels here, but e equally, maybe there is. I mistimed it. Oh, that's a jumping noise. There we go. Do I wanna... I'm having a lot of fun playing this, so I'm gonna... I might make this a free-parter. Oh. I think they all just shot. Shit. Three attacks to get them in. I know that now. I utterly panicked there. The, the fact that you can't, like, uh, like, lower, duck, that's the word, duck, crouch, prone, any of those words would have worked. The fact that you can't do those words really throws me off. Oh, shit. Uh, I should just use a super, but I'm committed to not now, aren't I? I'm going to use it on these ones, though. That'll fuck them right up. Fuck it, just... There's no point saving it. You get it back so quickly. And if there's a boss, most bo bosses are checkpoints. Oh shit. There's a lot of slowdown up here. There's way too many enemies on the screen. And a lot of them are far too big, frankly. In my head, I'm getting experience with this, even though I know I'm not. So it takes three lasers to kill them. Oh, you little pr I knew you'd be the death of me. What's that grey one do? Have we seen grey before? Grey feels different. Oh. I was pushing jump, but there's, there's a delay after using a laser before you can jump. Oh, you bastards. I was just thinking, does my shot cancel out their shot? It did. He just slowly walked up and killed me is what happened there. Oh, Christ. Right from the start. That's that's horrendous. Well, that'll do for part two. Um, let me just check my numbers. There might be another part of this. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. There may be more of this in the future. Depends how I feel.